What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the Max Payne remake and why it seems like the game is actually coming sooner than we thought. Now, that is subjective. It depends on when you thought the game was going to come out, but Remedy has done an update on really all of their upcoming games, and it's kind of a generic little paragraph. We're going to read each one, but it's a little update as to Control 2 and Max Payne and their multiplayer game. And some of them have the same exact wording where it's, it's a specific part of development that the game is in. Max Payne actually seems to be one of the further along games that Remedy is making. And, and that might be shocking, might not be shocking. I think it's shocking. But what's maybe the most shocking is it seems like it's actually further along than Control 2. Now, I guess why is that so surprising? Well, Control 2, we've known for a while. It, you know, obviously a big franchise. No, Max Payne is a big franchise. But they announced the remake of that game last. You know, we have kind of a roadmap of all these games that Remedy is working on. And they're kind of insane, right? They're working on like four games at a time. And Max Payne was the last one announced of it. So at least how I thought about it was Max Payne would be the last to release. Especially even how they set it, right? Where they're like exploring what even a Max Payne remake would look like, right? The earliest of pre-development that you can get, right? The earliest kind of concept stages that are out there. But that is a, a saying. So let's read through this. Let's start with Control 2. So Control 2 continues in the proof of concept stage. That's a very, that is the first stage, okay? The plans for the sequel are ambitious, and we have seen both good progress in designs and in the game build. And then they say we will continue at this stage for the next few quarters. So beyond this year is actually, I think, another way of saying that. We focus on proving the identified key elements before moving to the next stage and scaling up the team. Honestly, from the way that they talk about the other games, it actually feels like Control 2 is the furthest away, which is kind of wild because I did not see that coming. Then they talk about Max Payne. Max Payne 1 and 2 Remake progressed into the production readiness stage. We've gained clarity on the style and scope of the game and have an exceptionally well-organized team working on it. With these accomplishments, we are excited about the project and its future success. So right there, it's beyond proof of concept, right? They, they already did that. They know what the game is going to be. Now they're making it. Now this is development time for Max Payne. Now I'm going to circle back because I want to talk about how long we still have to wait. But let's look at the two other games. So we have Condor, which is the multiplayer one. They say this one has progressed as well from proof of concept to the same thing production readiness stage so development we've acquired valuable insights into developing service-based games and now are in a better position to create a game players can engage with for years honestly i'm still pretty worried about this game just for the fact that this is a live service game they actually literally just said that in their little thing but we've known that for a while right they're gonna attempt it they're trying it and you know i love remedy we've talked a lot about sam lake and and, and the magic that that team has created I don't know if they can do a live service multiplayer game. We will see, but that is one that I'll try, but I'm easily the least excited for that one. But it's important to remember, and it's important to note, that it's in the same, seemingly, the same stage as Max Payne. So this one is kind of further along. Then they say Codename Vanguard, which we know really next to nothing about. And they say Codename Vanguard, we are defining the next stages of the project with our publishing partner. At the same time, the project is aiming towards completing the proof of concept stage by the end of the year. So the beginning of it makes it sound like the game is like not even, you know, not even a thing. But the second part of it actually, and that's why I mentioned the control thing, the second part of it actually puts it ahead of control too. So this codename Vanguard, whatever in God's name it is, it's actually going to be in development, full development, seemingly by 2024, January of 2024. Whereas Condor and Max Payne, they're, you know, they're going, they're they're in development, but Control 2 is actually still in that proof of concept and they said for Control 2 that it's multiple, still multiple quarters, right? So you imagine this project or codename Vanguard, it finishes up the end of this year and maybe Control 2 doesn't even start full development until like next summer, okay? So that's that's part 1, that's something I definitely want to throw in there because you kind of get a little of insight as to where they are for each game now for max Payne specifically what does this mean well max Payne, like i said actually feels like it's the furthest along of all of these games and that really surprises me now it still takes years like this does not mean that the game comes out 2024 okay please for love of god don't think that when i say that the game is coming out sooner than we think 
what I mean by it's not clickbait. What I mean by that is I think this game two to three years, two to three years, this game could come out, which is a lot sooner than I thought. Because again, the way they were talking about this game, and even from when they announced it, the game f- felt like it was five, six, seven. Like that's really what it was. And you see that all the time. Whenever any game kind of has that uh, proof of concept stuff, or they're like discovering what they could do with a certain game, right? That's like <laughs> there's years left. And you also honestly have to. To think about how fast Remedy actually makes games. They're they're pretty fast. They're pretty quick. They seemingly can get a game out, like a full scale, say triple A game. Now Max Payne's technically two of them, but it is a remake, so maybe it can go a little bit faster. But normally they can get these things out in about four years. You look at control, you look specifically at Alan Wake. They started Alan Wake in 2019. Yes, they had like a lot of the story kind of before then, but it seems like four years is kind of their average. And that's I would say below the that's below the industry average. The industry average is probably like five or so years for games like this. So again, where I'm at right now is if they're starting development and actual development, right? Not pre-production. Pre-production is normally tacked on. So I really think we can get Max Payne, again, not next year, but if you told me in somehow you know, that Max Payne's remake could come out, say, the fall of 2025, I wouldn't completely doubt you. I, th- I think that's honestly possible. Is it likely? Maybe not. But if you told me fall of 2025 through fall of 2026 within the next two to three years, that, that is where I actually think it comes out. And again, when I think about Control 2, Control 2 probably doesn't come out during that phase. Control 2 probably comes out later than that. So it's kind of wild. It's kind of wild because I really thought Control 2 specifically, and I guess, you know, Vanguard and also the multiplayer game Condor, I thought these games would come out actually first and the Max Payne would be like literally dead last. No, it feels like Max Payne might actually be the first of that group, which is good because... Maybe you can get some very good reception on it, and maybe you could do like a Max Payne 4, you know, their version of Max Payne 3, just continuing it in in some way. Maybe that happens, and maybe that happens faster because the game would come out sooner. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.